Welcome cuties, let's create. Today I'm going to be doing a speed painting and as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be giving this away for one of my subscribers, but I will get into that in just a second. This painting was actually a bit of a challenge for me because I am painting a building and I'm actually painting a temple, which is a part of my religion, but I have only attempted to draw buildings before and I kind of give up halfway through. So this is the first time that I actually like take my time in making it look decent. And if you have ever seen a temple from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, you will know there is a huge amount of detail. And spoiler alert, I don't paint in too much detail, but it to it wow, it turns out really good and I'm actually really impressed with how it turned out. So I have painted landscapes before, and I also knew a bit of how to start my painting. So I start with the sky and I blend in the colors that I use. Um, I have pinks and then I have different shades of purple and it was actually too purpley. And so I kind of tried to make it more blue and it turns out really good. I actually really like it. I actually wanted it more blue, but I didn't want to waste too much paint. And so once I get that blended in, I can start with the details in the sky. And in this instance, I actually have a galaxy type sky. So I am able to then, um, I kind of paint these like cloud type things. I can't, I don't know what it's technically called. And then I can go in with a toothbrush and then kind of flick white paint to make it look like stars. After I'm done with my sky, I then draw in my building and then last after that, I draw these like trees or bush type shapes and you'll see what I'm talking about in the end. For the building, I painted the outlines of everything in black just so I can see where my shapes are going to be and kind of just the basic outline of going, okay, I know, because if I was going in blind, I, it would be a disaster. <laughs> so um, that's why I ended up doing that first. Then once I have my outlines of the whole thing, I go in and color in the building. And I start with the roof, but and the roof turns out really good. But something that I really struggled with is getting the same color. And what I mean is the only paint colors that I use are red, yellow, and blue, black, and white. Those are the only colors I use when I paint. Um, and I struggle to get this exact same kind of orangey red that I'm looking for. I really struggle because I would run out of that color and I'd have to remake it and it would be just the, t you know, just maybe a little too dark or too bright or, you know, I just really struggled with getting that exact same color, but it turns out really good in the end. Like I said, it, it turns out phenomenal and I'm actually really impressed with myself. So props for me. <laughs> um, so then what I do is I wanted to have kind of this because they're bricks. So this um, temple in particular is all brick and something that I, what I do, and this is going to be very difficult for me to explain, but I want to kind of give a rough summary of how my process is and what I do. Um, cause I, I actually have learned with painting, you don't have to do a huge amount of detail so for example I don't have to paint on every single tiny leaf I don't have to paint each individual brick which is actually really nice because I mean this took me seriously weeks I started this May 15th and I have been working on it a little bit almost every day not exactly every day, but I just really wanted this to look good. So I have seriously worked so hard on this. And because uh, I just, I want it to be very, very beautiful. And so, and I feel like with painting, you know, you can really take your time and the more detail you want to put in, go for it. I'm, you know, it's, it's not like 
you have to draw each individual leaf or you don't have to you you know there's just there's no right or wrong to painting and creating because everyone has their own styles and has their own techniques and so but for me i have realized that i can kind of get away with making it look like you know what i'm achieving without actually having to do all this crazy detail so what I do is I get my paintbrush and I dip it in very, very lightly into my paint that I'm doing. And so I made a darker orangey red and I made a light yellow. And that's gonna kind of be my color of my brick to kind of give it this dimension and look more realistic than just having the plain orange. So what I do is I dip it in the paint very lightly. I don't get a whole lot. Then I kind of poke around and I just make these little like lines. And then I do an area, I clean off my paintbrush, I get my paintbrush wet and I kind of just kind of dab around that area and I'm able to kind of smudge it around with the water kind of diluting it so it's kind of more um, see-through. And it's able to really kind of move it around and give it this dimension and look more realistic and I think it turns out phenomenal and then after I was done with the brick I went in and painted my windows and again like I said I didn't really give a whole lot of detail to the windows um, some of them do have if you look at this one in particular this is called the Provo City Center Temple and there is some detail like stained glass kind of detail in some of the windows but I did not do that um, but I actually think it turns out fine and then once I am done with that I go in and I paint my bushes which is just super easy um, something that I just want to say is going to that this is going to a subscriber and this is actually going to my father-in-law and mother-in-law. They had a, um, uh, a special event that happened in May, and I just kind of wanted to give this to them to kind of show, like, you know, that me and my husband were proud of you and we're so excited for you, and, you know, we kind of just wanted to give this to them to kind of celebrate that moment in their life. And it's... So... I am actually really glad that, you know, they are a huge support to me along with, you know, other family and friends that I have. And um, in the future, I definitely want to do actual giveaways. And what I mean is like I'll have contests or whatever, but I kind of want to build up more subscribers. So make sure you subscribe so in the future you'll be, be able to be a part of giveaways that you know i will be giving away so it is definitely hard for me to part from this painting because i i like having my originals because i'm very proud of you know the hard work that i put in and so it's very difficult for me to part ways with it but i think i'm definitely going to go into some place that you know We'll be able to photocopy it and make it look really good and print it off. So I at least have a copy, but um, I really enjoyed this process and I learned about drawing buildings and I feel like I'm actually quite decent at it. So let me know what you think and yeah, let me know if you want to see me do more. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, leave a like and a comment. Until next time, keep creating.